the table here and see where they're at in their progression as a team. But let's get this one underway with a pistol round, a P250 for Rain. Yeah. He is quite the menace with the weapon. We're seeing all of the star players pick that up and a boost from the CT side. Well, I said that. They'll hopefully get up there eventually. You got to make sure you're on the sandbag, but on the bottom part of the sandbag, and then you can mount sure. without any crouching required. Okay, well, a push towards short as well. And uh, so far, pretty quiet from FaZe, which they were anything but on Inferno. Rops will be waiting for any aggression. They seem to be aware of it. Initiates the duel, but uh, not too much damage inflicted on either side. And they'll actually be finishing up towards the A side of the map in the bomb. And four players from FaZe have actually gained access with the smoke down towards CT. It's just KST at the bank, and he can't really Whoa. force the issue just yet. Trying to bait out some nades there. You can see Brook go into the site, then take the one-two step back. The bomb will go down. They don't have to defend from the site here, but the DS does have a smoke. As well as that kit. So if they are able to get the smoke on the bomb and get on yeah. top of it, might get a little bit chaotic here. They still have five kills to find. It would have to be a bit of a ninja defuse. We'll see which kills come in first. It looks like Brokey will be opening oh. things up with a couple, make it a triple. And that's going to be the round tied up nicely. But FaZe Clan didn't have to work too hard for it in the end. But a duel making things interesting. Not out of it completely just. If he gets a third kill, you never know. But there it is. Rain will confirm the round. And Brokey, what another barn burner. He just had that chat. Three kills. Very confident. Very calm. And uh, they collect yeah, the first pistol. Clicks are looking crispy right there from both sides. But uh, I, with this one thing I want to do, maybe we can have a bit of fun and games on our side of it as well, is keep tabs of how many different variations of boosts we see from FTW on their seat side of overpass here. So we'll count that one, the B sandbag boost. That's the first. Saw so Na'Vi the other day. They had so many different variations of boost. So could be a little fun game here as... We'll see FTW, the Portuguese, getting with a force buy of their own. So Dodo into the scout. There's some Deagles and an MP9 to work with here as the bathroom smoke has been deployed and connected to control already under the remit of phase. Fantastic work on this. The Diaz once again takes a lot of damage early on. So that was a factor in Inferno, but dishing some out is to Dodo. Carrigan down to 22 points of health, but gaining map control towards the bathroom position. CTs just trying to find those tags, soften them up if possible. And there's all five players with phase on this side of the map, so we will see a boost there towards the connector position. Looking through the windows, perhaps. Okay, well, a, a lurk smoke deployed just there, so. At least applying a little bit of pressure to front sight. Rotation starting to come back through from. Oh, Aradose, but don't worry about it. Rain's found Dias through the spam of the wall towards Divider. So that's a great opening to find here for phases. They can continue to stick towards this side of the map, trying to give the A bomb site a little bit of love. Smoke's deployed. Flash I think this scout can do something here. No, I feel like I'm okay. quietly... Okay, maybe not. Now he's been pushed behind the smoke, segregated from his teammate. The one deco is beautiful. The low IQ player presents himself, but not meant to be. Four versus two, Stododo and KST once again, unfortunately, will have to just save the weapons as the thieves in effort, some damage inflicted, but not quite enough. There's a couple of keys here, which I guess we can digest for FaZe. It's not just about having all that firepower and the fact that they hit really hard. Right. You could see how quickly they were able to take that bathroom control, right? So they obviously do the bathroom smoke quite quickly as you're making your way out of spawn. Mm -hmm. And then there's a, a Molotov, another one of these magic mollies that Rain has that's very particular. So that it bounces can... off at the skyboxes, right? Yeah, it, it makes kind of it floats a magic with molly. the skybox, so it, yeah. It doesn't, it detects Text the floor, but there's nothing to land on, so it buys another couple of seconds to fly through the air. Precisely. Mistaken, Ancient, yeah. we, we get that one. That's very popular, right, in the way a lot of teams like to take mid. But the one that Rain throws here, it lands Divider. So they get an instant toilet smoke. The Divider molly straight away. So when the CTs want to play aggressive for space up towards balloons, if they want to drop back, they have to drop back through the bathroom smoke as well as that Molotov, right? And that's why you can see FaZe getting that space so quickly. They're able to, I, I guess, prod... Well, they do manage to save the scouts and the MP9. They'll send three players, make it four towards B, maybe go for another push towards shorts, get a boost going with the scout, perhaps. We'll see what they've got in mind. Some information gathered there by the USB towards middle, but uh, not much else. All we can really tell them is that one player was towards T-steps. That's not really going to be having a massive knock-on effect in the round. That one will, though, to Dodo. Great shot towards short. Removes Brokey. No real trade potential. Very quick on that, wasn't he, Broke? Just trying to take that space up towards Sandbag. Only had the Mac 10. But so Rain could pick that up, though, I suppose. I suppose, but this is a bit of a gauntlet to cross here. Oh, did the P, uh, sorry, the USP with the P250. He's popped a dink on his own. KST's taking out Rops in the meantime. This might be a force by win for FTW. Two on five situation right now. Not even a force by. They saved the scout and the MP9 with USPs around it. So, an eco, if you're talking about this round alone. But uh, not over just yet. Do they check long? Nope. They do. To twists. 
will enable the bomb to be planted. This one not done yet, but they can find a couple kills quickly. You never know. Carrigan knows he has to be active here. Can't just sit back on the bomb side. If he gets the double kill, I would say they stand a real chance, but not meant to be. Three versus one, twists. Remove from the action. But remember, no kits enables him to go towards long, but it's just not planted for him in any sense. Well, the question is, did he hit Anastasia, who's just made it around the world? Twist has caught a glimmer right here. They're going to think long's clear. This is all going to come down to timing. The bomb halfway gone. They They've only it. tapped it they right now. It. They need to get stuck on this. They don't expect Twist to be long. This is going to be a masterful clutch. All he needs they to do it. is knock it off. And it's not going to be the case. KST with the pivot on top of the site. The defuse will come through. And a great round for FTW. Yeah. Had he been like maybe five seconds before, they might not have suspected it, but it was just too quiet. They had no information as to where it was. Someone had to check it eventually. And just in the nick of time, we do see FTW pick up the round. And as I said, that's, that's an eco victory. They saved the MP9 and the scout. And those are the weapons causing all the damage here. Lovely little boost there. The takedown Robs finishing off Rain as well, who already took a lot of damage from the USP towards short. So they're going to be happy with that. Lost the pistol, but somehow managed to win the third round eco. As we get into the first real gun round here, I say that there are some concessions. Brocky will be just be having the Desert Eagle, and uh, they've got AKs around here. Shouldn't be the end of the world. Still going to be opposing force in round number four here. The Orb, the Stododo, haven't really seen him pop off yet. Yeah, Inferno maybe not the best place for him to showcase that, but Overpass, yeah, exactly. he, he should, should be able to find a bit more impact on a map like this. Now, they're coming short aggression with four. Sorry, with three, there's four towards B. Jill, he's oh, just he saw him past it. Rops with the fight. We'll get the better of him. Nobody close for any trade potential there. So they were posturing forward, but didn't really have the follow through FTW. They will give one over. Yeah, I dare say Jill had the advantage. I think he spotted the shoulder of Rops and he got no info, but still somehow comes out on top. No the advantage, but still a lot of the rounds still to be played here. Three at B still. We've got Didias with the M4 and an incendiary defending A, and they, they seem to be a bit more active. Trying to gain map control, information, enables them to rotate one player back, potentially. Coming back to be here. Rops is about to have a little bit more of a fight. KST is just pushing on his lonesome this straight the through the pipe. And if he gets this kill, there is an opportunity. Rops has just looked away. KST's a slip to so net. This is They're not going to expect him, Henry. Bad information. He'll be calling no one's push. It should be absolutely fine. No one's going to check this. Needs a multi-kill here. Right to the time. One, two, the third. The transfer almost there for KST, but Carrigan's going to get the trade. Now they need to get past this play towards short. It's Aaron Dossay, 10 HP, Rain. Diligent on the clears this. here. No, he's not checked it deep enough. Or oh, a good flash though. Very well done for Ray. And Carrigan follows things up. It was looking like a bit of an awkward round, perhaps. It looks quite safe now, especially that orb shot missed. And Carrigan will punish the mistake. And there it is. Even with the nice double kill coming in from KST, it's not going to be quite enough. Good positioning. And uh, Rob's unfortunate not to get that information. He was watching the entire time. The five seconds he takes his gaze away, that's going to be where he pushes through towards the washing machine. That's one of the things with Counter-Strike, right? The, the timing can just be such a cruel mistress and yeah. all of this. And it, same with this fight that happened. It kind of played against the gill. And then over here towards BKST with the double. If he gets the triple, you're thinking that's a, a second round secured, but not to be the case. And, oh, they've actually dropped the Dodo a hero AWP Yeah, he didn't here. save that. That's uh, fully purchased into the round. And for someone who hasn't really been popping off the sniper yet, it's uh, a bold purchase. He's got himself armor as well. Means he has to be very active. You don't want to be firing off any bullets in a speculative manner. You want to make sure you get yourself in a position where you can open things up, retreat, reposition, and hopefully apply pressure to the terrorist side. You want to be sure on the shots that you're making, as well as making sure when you are scoping, you're not too close, especially within an early round yes. like this, to give away the fact that even if it is a scout, that's still a threat that Carrigan can start to calculate through. So just yeah. doing their uh, standard default here. Rops over towards B, three working through the A side of the map and rain over towards connector here on his lonesome just patrolling. That'd be, well, I was going to say a fight over towards front bathrooms, but got pipped and, well, that's the AWP gone. Yeah, massive investment thwarted and uh, going to try and recover the weapon, which they have done. I thought they will pick it up, but uh, they're picking up kills left, right and center here on the face side. KST, Aristotle, can you save this AWP, Chad? Is it possible? I'm not sure. They are kind of pinned in towards the A site, committed in front of bathrooms as well, and uh, just one player remaining. It's That's a shooting gallery, offer. isn't yeah. it? Broki is having a lot of fun out there, and I presume he'll close things out as well. He knows exactly where the final player is. They'll take the bomb towards B, and there it is. No helmet, and a quick kill, and the AWP taken down. No kills found at the AWP, at least in the person that bought it. And uh, we go to 4-1. Still a full buy here with the AWP on the CT side. They had residual cash, it seems. To DS with 3,500. Ops for the, the M4. Kevlar combo and uh, not much else to speak of.
Round six. Yeah, no kit here either. No so kits at all. There are a couple of problems for sure. Didius would love to get him on the scoreboard here as well. Right now for FaZe, it's just been about getting this territory and then standing and hitting a couple of nice shots. And similar scenes were seen over there. On Inferno, but this time an aggressive long maneuver. Brokey, not flash, not smoke, not naded, not nothing. And they're just going to pick up an easy kill. So basically throwing their bodies straight into the aim of FaZe. The Diaz will have to watch his fallen comrade. Nothing he can do about it right now. He sits behind the first rock. Not a great position for multiple kills, it has to be said. Normally a bit of a bait and switch for the second rock, but Swiss will be twist. checking this. I don't think so. <sighs> yeah, way too on point today. Phase are looking deadly. This is the phase, right, which is scary because they are just aiming, right? They're just shooting you. And that's the, the scary phase, right? Obviously, once you get into the higher tier of Counter-Strike, a bit more maneuvering across the map required. But when phase are in this mode, the Marauder mode, they're just going to run all over you. That's what you want as Carrigan, right? All of your tools are extremely sharp right now. Nobody seems to be missing a beep. One is lonesome. Rain just walking in towards A. All three players are here. Actually, I tell a lie. One is down towards Heaven, towards B. And, well, Rain just waltzed in. Spotted. Huh, the AWP is gone. Do. And the round's done. Yeah, as long as he gets one of those kills, it's absolutely worthwhile. And a very important one. Takes down the Sniper. He's confirmed that. He knows at least one player is towards A as well. It means maximum this could be one player towards the other side of the map. Yes, he might get one here, which he does. That's Swiss going down, but it's all for naught, really. The money's absolutely fine on the T side, and they don't need to go hunting for these kills. They, they will just hold back and allow the round to come in their favor. Okay, well, uh, we did expect a quick one, right? We, we <laughs> had a quick one on Inferno. It was the quickest map ever in Pro League history, apparently. I'm going to dispute that. I think you might have to. We had a few other tweets come through that uh, suggested otherwise, um, but according to the official ESL CSGO Twitter account, that was the fastest map ever. It felt fast to me, but I'm not sure about the fastest. We had a 16-0 uh, between, was it EG? Wait, I think it was Maus and EG. Maus and EG. Someone linked, uh, someone linked that. They said that the, the match went for 28 minutes. Do you think like, the social media people heard us say it and maybe we thought it was like fact, perhaps? I'm not sure. That's but, possible. Uh, definitely don't believe what we said. We're kind of just uh, making things up as we go along most of the time. Okay, here's the data. See, uh, here's the data for season. He I needs would, more I work. Trust ben always work, needs more sure. work, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> never enough work for poor Benny boy. Well, then here we go. A lot of work to be done for FTW. The CT side, Chad, has to be said. You should be expecting to win this half, uh, especially if you're a map down and you're against the number one team in the world as of a couple of days ago. And we'll see pretty weak by, but a strong start. The Dodo with the AWP towards connector will find Ray. Now starting to hit some shots. That's his second kill. Ooh, everybody gravitating towards B right here and this little push from Didius. I, I don't think it's going to be suspected right now by that of Twist, who's just peered around the corner. He could very well do that, but going to clear out towards A and Twist continues just to make it behind a new piece of cover every single corner He's he got turns. Him, Surely Didius has him now. Twist would oh, have to this do would be a, so unfortunate if he just walks in front of him. Yeah, and he might do. Oh, the timing is going to be savage for someone here. I think Twist is getting to the free. No! Okay. All right. I That's didn't expect something that to work with. Well, they know it has to be B now. Starting to barrel in the last three members of FaZe. Yeah, they've only got the MP9s and the masses. This could be problematic. We'll see. Aras Dosse waiting towards heaven with the lesser of the rifles. Ajil will be joining him. They've got HEs ready and waiting as well. Is this where FaZe get back into the round? Good smoke towards Shaw, but a better shot. Rops takes bullets to the face, and uh, presumably that's the round done. Certainly so now. Broken is looking to cause damage. Maybe get a plant down. This would be a crazy one on five, wouldn't it? The first was good. They're running him down, and there you go. They could pick up a secondary orb if they'd like. Not to be the case. I'm sure you just want to get the Famous out of your hands. And another nice one. So the two rounds that they've won so far have been on these more brittle-looking buys. Remember sure. the third round of the game with carried over weapons from round number two, and this time round there's a bit more hodgepodge, a bit of a menagerie as far as the weapons were concerned. And a good opening from Sedota. We said we want to see more from the orb. Yeah. Well, that's one way you can have some action. Find AWP openings. And that door will be blown off pretty much every round as well, right? So the fact you can use that to your advantage in different ways. You can have a couple of spams from the bomb side itself. Push your orb right down to that sort of angle. And uh, just cause a nuisance for the T's waiting on the other side. So look out for that. As you'll see, of course, another full buy here. But uh, the last of the cast of phase. As Brokey has had enough, taking actions into his own hands as usual. And with Carrigan, they'll be storming up towards Long. Staying on that left-hand side go. just to avoid noise, but uh, Stododo. Oh! I was about to say he's in the perfect spot. He was looking for the boost up towards the flower bed. He looks away for one second, not even that. And at least the DS will pull it back. He doesn't have to go for the nice second, second kill, but he shot. nails him. 
Okay, well, he's made up where his teammates fallen here. Oh, oh wow. and the peek back out into Twist. They're just giving them the fights. He yeah. worked so hard to draw that back. Yeah, absolutely true. A three on three. Maybe it's a T side for sure, especially on a map like Overpass. The CT defense will be spread very thin indeed. And uh, back towards B we go. The silent drops from the handrail here. Won't be heard. But this retake position that's currently being held on to uh, towards B is kind of showing that they can usher their way into the site, right? Getting in shouldn't be too difficult. As Dosse cannot see this short walkout, he's hoping that they leer a little bit further into his line of sight, but the creepy crawly rain, well, I'm sure they wish would go oh, they away. They couldn't be further away on the other side of the map as well. Yeah. Like, about well, as far as he possibly could be. They got the sound cue now. He's pulling out the nades. That's going to give Rob's a chance here. Oh, completely gives away his unnoted position. And now it's a two on three retake towards this B bomb site. Yeah, oh. Ah, oh, I just, yep. It's yep. unfortunate, isn't it? They yep. get they get a nice double kill towards Long. He picks up the AWP, thinks, surely though, there's not going to be a third there, but of course there was. Oh, they'll recover the AWP at least, but uh, then once again, any advantages they had are squandered. The B hold, not quite enough information gathered, and uh, the late incendiary uh, ultimately leads to his demise. Yeah, the, the thought process, right? If you want to think through, uh, he's playing a retake setup, so he's thinking, if I delay the plant, it'll give enough time for my teammates to get into position yeah. to make this a little bit jarring, but the bomb had already had the digits getting punched in. They're not going to cancel at that point. Even if the incendiary had landed perfectly, it's likely that still gets planted regardless here. Cool, so this that's is the, sure. Actually, that's a massive opener from Carrigan. Like, I know that Sedoto had just found himself in transition, but it's still a huge shot for Carrigan to hit there, so a nice opener, good one for he's Twist. always good for a kill like that, honestly. Like, I think Carrigan, I don't think he's got the reputation for that, the low fragging in-game leader anymore. Like, he he is worth his weight in gold, and CT side especially, good for one or two every single round, positioning himself nicely. There's opening kills, you'll see him do those a lot. And, uh, yeah, great start for FaZe once again. If you are just joining us, that was a miss Molotov. Spoon and that one, it was 16-4 on Inferno, the pick of FTW. Yeah, a bit too much spin on that one, Chad. You're right. Carrigan, once again, look at this, just looking to crack things open through the smoke he goes. He has got himself out of the tunnel. Playing for the fadeaway. Rain just spammed. Oh my god. Yes, Rain spams a kill. Them. Carrigan on the timing. Another kill for Carrigan. That's what it's all about, Chad. Just uh, sensing what your opposition are up to. You hear those bullets coming through. They've got to reload at some point. They have to fall back. Wait for your moment. And uh, he strikes with emphatic style. A double kill. And uh, not really much to be said about round number nine, ladies and gents. Just going to be another save here for De Diaz and KST. Hello, hello. Did you see him? Oh, no, he's going to give away the kill there. So rain up the ladder. KST will take that one with both hands. Suppose it grants an AK, but you have to go down the ladder to get it. Probably not worth it. Yeah, and Rops is already making sure that can't be scooped up. I, this is the thing. You don't have to hunt if you phase. You're probably more than happy if they retain guns. What does it matter? You know? You're not too stressed, are you? Probably not. You're probably not at all. Just checking in with uh, the frag charts here. Wow, no one on the FTW side is over three kills, apart from KST, who has 12 and three. So he's doing a good job there. But uh, all for not at this point, they'll be down seven to two. Bomb would explode. Nothing really to report there as we get into round number 10 here. Uh, money is low. They saved the two M4s, more of the same. Maybe some pistols, some MP9s for There's the, the mix. There's the kill just there from Rain. I guess they were spamming back at the same time, just trying to inflict damage. That's the problem. When you do spam on the CT side, sure, you've blown up the door, but it's so common these days, AK versus M4 and that penetration, uh, it's always going to come out on top of the T side, especially if they're hitting shots. And uh, here we go. There's no real purchase into the round, apart from a few deagles, a couple of them, I should say, and a 5-7 for it. Yeah, they've just kind of levered up the money here with the loss bonus where it is. Next round, they will be able to buy, but Aradosse dancing right. through the flames. Getting some heat on that sweet rice. Is yeah, that's what it means, isn't it? Aristos, it means sweet rice. Yeah. That's a very unique name. Isn't you it? can choose all the gaming names in the world. He's and gone with sweet with rice. Sweet rice. Maybe he's a fan of sweet rice. I I'm... didn't even know sweet rice was a thing. I don't I'll think I've ever had sweet rice. I know sticky rice is a thing. Yes, that's normally more with, with long sushi, grain rice, right? brown rice, egg fried rice. Well, someone sent us a recipe for sweet rice. How would you eat it? Is it is it is it dessert? I How guess... are you having the, the sweet rice? Let us know. Yeah. Uh, that's a, a real... A real question there. We'll find out, I'm sure. I know they have uh, sweet milk. I've heard of that before, but not yeah. sweet rice. Oh, uh, this one it might get sour very quickly for FDW. It's KST. Mention his name. He is finding contributions here. We'll find another. Rops, the first to fall. <gasps> Went hold up a second. Ooh. Straight through the smoke. Caught him on the reload, but Rain, the bodyguard, is there to help out. The flames, the feet. 
And Jill is gone now, and well, the kills keep coming. Carrigan, it's his turn. Yeah, and he's been doing very well in these openings. This time, KSC, oh, the best fragger so far is absolutely wrecked by the P250 sidearm of Brokey. Stadoto looking for a double kill here, can't quite find it, and still a winnable round. I said that with bated breath, but the Diaz has a decent position, actually. He's coming in from the Monster Tunnel. He has no kit, but I dare say that's a freebie, and uh, indeed it is. So, unfortunately, though, he does know exactly where he is now. Brokey doesn't miss many, but he is baited out. He'll have to fall back out. Say advantage to DS now. He picks up the kit, oh, Look how quick, look how far away Brokey got. Can pivot all the way around. This is really well thought out from Brokey, using that smoke front sight on his favor. The DS has no oh, idea a, that he's already pivot. What are you meant to do now? The, yeah. He has no idea that Brokey's gotten this far away. It was instant, through the smoke, into the water. And now all the way around to the heavens. He just has to make sure he peeks in time and secure. <laughs> he wanted to look up first. Look at me before I strike you down, boy. Oh, Lord. <laughs> he just waited. It's like, like, make sure he sees it. I wanted to know how owned he's been. That was great from Brokey there. What a round. Oh, that's so funny. Couple of comedic moments in this one here, wasn't there? That little push through the smoke and connector was good. I love that pivot from Brokey. Just no hesitation in what maneuver he was going to pull off. <laughs> yeah, look, they know what he's done. <laughs> They're having fun. Yeah. Everyone's having a good time. I wanted to see, the, I wanted to see the white of his eyes before I pulled the trigger. <laughs> that reminds me of Semphis uh, in one of the early majors. Uh, I think it was like the Katowice of 2014 against one of the French teams, and right. GMX was on the other side. That's, a front That's when the tables were facing each other. Yeah. And he's yelling out across the hall, GMX! GMX, <laughs> look into my eyes, GMX. <laughs> and Selfus is just yelling this, just, and the French, they're not looking up, you know, there's just He's a, a, <laughs> an intimidating man as well. He is even more so now, isn't he? Yeah. Well, the DS is an intimidating position, and there's the conversion. Just about gets it over the line. Not the cleanest of kills, but they all count, and that's going to be Carrigan removed. And ooh, Stadodo. Counting his lucky stars at that point, and uh, we'll see whether they can actually execute towards the A-bombs. I cleanly, I dare say they can. The bomb will be planted, no problem. No resistance here whatsoever. There are kits available. Decent buy. Round 11 here, and a backstab coming in towards Long. What's going to be the outcome here? Diaz will be watched by Rain, though. And the spray gets a little bit out of hand there. Turns into a gardening hose pretty quickly. Well, they have smokes, Henry. There's a real chance for this one. True. Once the smoke goes down, that's when the spam battles begin. The full defuses can be initiated, and those five seconds can disappear very quickly indeed. They're going to go for it any second now. There it is. The defuse being deployed, I guess, and they've got a chat. Nothing can be done. The fuse, and now we have it. A nice round there from FTW after getting that first pick, pushing it towards T-spawn, funneling them in towards the A bomb site. And uh, clean as you like, smoke down. And the good Molotov as well meant they had no vision when the defuse was happening. They couldn't actually grant access towards the bomb site whatsoever. Faze still have them right where they want them, right? There was a, a couple of casualties there in that post plant situation. Stadodo going to get himself back in a full util. I think he could have dropped another M4 for Agil here, but that is not going to be the case. So he'll be operating with a Famous. But yeah, you can see here it's quite simple stuff. The smoke plumes, difficult to deal with. It. Miss Molly there is going to give a bit more room to twist than. FTW would have hoped for, but Rain pedal to the metal quickly through the connector position. Door swung open and closed up behind him. He wasn't raised in a tent. It's broke. He already posted up here towards the sandbag position with the AWP. He will need to flick towards his right. Don't worry about that. The boost will deal with Aradose. It's good in connector as well. And oh, Carrigan felt he like he knew that? exactly where Didius was. Yeah, it looked like he had his number for sure. And he'd been called, but uh, apparently not meant to be. Broki has been incredibly active towards this side of the map, and that's bravery peaking there. Rain? As the orb is being caught. Rain? And like ships in the night, rain, rain? will pass. The Diaz in towards a connector. He knows he's there because the he flash. He has to be. Yeah, right. He has to be. So wait for the smoke to go down. He just wants to guarantee the kill here. Yeah, say he's done it, which he confirmed. So a minute remaining. Twist has gained access past Monster. He'll call for some backup as well. Ajil with his 40 points of health, Chad. It would take a remarkable sequence at this point to stop them entering. And Rain will just be keeping that player towards there as well. Nice smoke towards CT spawn as they walk in, just causing a bit of a ruckus here. You can see they don't really know where to go. And Stadodo will be well, dropped. Well, they've gambled, B. They've gambled correctly here. Uh, twist is passed. Twist. He's not going to oh, clear the corners. Ajil's got the kill. They're still one towards Sandbag. And oh, there wow. it is. KST activates late. Even with that kill on the site, Rain. They know he needs to make a quick way here through the back lines, through the spawn, but Brokey, the absolute menace. He can plant for heaven. KST tucked towards short, and Rain should deal with this, but KST's grabbed the kill back, the low HP, and Brokey gets it done. A close round, but Very another close. round for FaZe. Right down to the wire there. As you mentioned, the gamble stack actually working out tremendously well. Out of position, it looked like, but Twist was dropped. 
The short crossfire was initiated, and there it is, nine to three. Uh, with the max loss bonus, Chad, they're actually looking pretty good for cash, getting $3,400 per player, but uh, it doesn't really lend itself to a full buy on the season side. It'll be Deagles, Scouts, MP9, so a partial buy, which is unfortunate. Brokey, I dare say he should have lost that one with low HP as well. One more shot from the M4, he was going to be taken down, but he operates very calmly, as he always does. And uh, round 13, Stododo flashed off at the start, doesn't vault up as cleanly as he would have liked for that first kill. It would have just been a tag, I dare say, as well with the scouts. But uh, back towards Long we go, which is normally a safe area when you know the weaponry and money in general is low. Won't be sniped down, and uh, you can just group up together. Basic execution, make your way towards the bomb site, and Bob's your uncle. Yeah, they could three-man execute from Long and then have Rops activate late here with Rain up through the bathroom position as Sudodo is trying to get back towards the site now. The util raining up and over. The bombardment is coming their way. More flames at the feet. There's nowhere safe to stand as he's showing a little bit of that prowess with the util. Back site mollied as well. And Brokey opens up the account. Last round closes it. This round opens it. All the accounts are Brokey's right now. As full rain jumps into Didius. Rops is there. They're bodyguarding each other from round to round here. We'll call this one 10. I think that's fair at this stage, Chad. Normally, uh, we might be a bit cautious with uh, calling the round a bit too early, but uh, I think we're fine. Agil, Aras Dosse. I think my pronunciation is getting pretty good it there. It is. Actually. Well, we get all week to practice, right? Yeah. So this is one of the things, right? The broader storyline here for FTW, they've been saying it themselves, is here for a bit of experience due to the roster changes within the team. We can dig into more of that as the week goes. But this squad, right, they still came through the conference. And the conference there, they were beating competition that, you know, aren't slouches by any means. Sprout was one of the scalps. They right. took Order, who are no longer. They've had to revert back to Greyhound now. Uh, Illumina was a, a team they beat to get here, I believe. <laughs> right, so, so to get to this point, right, the roster was a little bit different. But FTW are here representing Portuguese Counter-Strike. I want to learn and see more of these individuals. I think that's fair, absolutely. Um, and against the number one team in the world, not many teams would do much better than this. Precisely. You know what so I mean? this right now, this is as bad as it's going to get. And yep. then as we move forward through the week, as they take on the likes of Big, MIBR, Outsiders, and, and G2 that, notoriously that's when they can shaky. Some damage, right? right? G2 are notoriously shaky in, in, in Pro League. He's broke his open. It doesn't need to see a whole and lot of you. You know what? Like the nerves will be gone after this one. Sure. You, like you, you were expecting maybe you could uh, have a bit of a showing here, but this is about as bad as it could have gone. And now you just keep thinking, right? Now we just need to quote unquote play our own game. And against teams like outsiders, much slower paced teams, I think they'll have a lot more time to show us what they're made of as uh, the grenades will damage KST significantly. Another probe towards short here. 17 for KST. So, so as we go through this week of games, yeah. we, I guess we can look at some of these performances, see who are the, the shining stars he's for the team. He's fragging on the server with Brokey. Yeah, so, so. He, he's having at least a good performance individually. Look, how that translates into rounds is a different conversation here, but they're really not giving away too many opportunities, and the ones they have have been capitalized You're right. that's on. A, that's a storyline for us to follow in the next games. Can he keep it up? We'd like to see more from Stododo um, with the AWP. For sure. But uh, for now, two rounds remaining. And uh, on the CT side of Overpass, three is just not going to cut it. I would say four is the absolute bare minimum. Uh, five at this point would be idyllic, but uh, it's going to end up towards B here. And this has not been going too well for them. We'll see Aradose and Agil uh, defending. And the flashbangs are not too effective there. Nice turn, but Brokey is not missing a shot in the last few rounds. No, he's on form right now, isn't he, Brokey? This is an absolute monster in the server here today. Sedoto has rotated in time. There's teammates coming that flank from KST. Brokey just dry peek this. He may as well at this point. He might have to do it all alone. 25 seconds. Adias has found one. Make that two. Brokey. There he goes. He's going to oh, scope for the third kill of the round. But now it's just Carrigan. Nice. He'll be dispatched. And there's four. Was that your bare minimum? That's my bare minimum. All right. So that's the quota filled. And five would just be a bonus at this point. They've got the money to do so. Uh, unfortunately for them, FaZe have not had to take a single eco so far in this half. But uh, yeah, it all comes down to this. Get five. I, I, I just say it again, against FaZe Clan, that's not the worst scoreline in the world. If you get five rounds on the CT side after losing the pistol, that's that's okay. Yeah, and considering the two rounds that they won, which were rounds which were hard to win, right? With the the third round residual saved weapons from the second. Yeah, USPs and, then they, and scouts. Yeah, and then they had a round that they were able to pull off as well, where their buy was definitely a little bit more brittle than that of FaZe's. Here we go, Stododa looking for an opening down towards Connector. 3-2 split of the FaZe offense is... I want to creep forward through this smoke. Of course they do. Kagan with a oh gimmick, dear. and it's going to work. Sedota has been caught off guard more often than he'd like to admit. Nice little flick there towards Shaw. We saw Rob's dismantling the Shaw push. But speaking of which, the round not done yet by any stretch of the imagination. But this shot 
straight in the buttocks of KST there, and it's going to be back to a three on two. And Aristotle needs at least one kill here. Actually, looks primed to potentially get it here, but it's a lot of damage, and even more so, he gets absolutely smacked down. Around here, we are going to see ooh, seven guns on the CT side. That sounds like cheating to me. It does sound a bit like cheating. We'll look into that after this round, as we'll see Twits and Brokey with the dual elites and Rain. Stepping up to the challenge there towards middle, spots a couple of them, decides to fall back towards the bathrooms, and uh, the first kill will be coming in momentarily. It's actually a headshot towards Rain. He'll be done for. Run! How's he got away with that? I have no idea. If he gets one kill here, that'll be remarkable. But speaking of one kill, Brokey will open things up, but it's actually the advantage for now towards FPW. But here come it on. comes, mowing them down here. It's still a chance, though, for now. Two versus one, and Twist needs to be careful not to give this one up, but anything but says Carrigan will close things out there. Not a very strategic counter-strike round, that one. Maybe Twist saw, I think it was Maui's tweet the other day, where I think he said Zywu is the best Julie's player in the world. Maybe Twist wants to get into that conversation. You know, I see Zywu buying them a lot. I don't see him doing, like, crazy things with them, though. Like, I see they got one or two kills. I yeah, don't know maybe he's that's that enough. title. Maybe yeah. that's enough. Look, but that's the thing. Uh, look, there might have to be a conversation about that. Uh, so uh, if you're a player... For the first time in Counter-Strike history, we're talking about the Jewel Elite. If you're a player and you want to get your hat put in the ring for, yeah. uh, for, for best, best Jewel Elite, you know, give us some highlights, boys. You know, yeah. we'll, we'll have some discussions about the Jewel Elite. 30 bullets of pain. And speaking of which, we'll have 25 of them in the magazine of this for mass. Brokey, a fantastic showing so Does far. Does he get 30? That's the question, Henry. I don't think so. I think he goes down here after one. And, uh, well, Rain will pick up the pieces and more ways than one. And we'll see Carrigan farming that cash. Oh, the Glocks and the Dinks does sound quite ferocious when it's all happening so quickly like that. But uh, 13 to 4, AKs come out. And I want to say first and last chance for FTW in this map and series. This, yeah, you, you might be dead on there. 13-4 um, down, losing this round. It's 14. Your money's broke once again. Unless you get the plant down, you'd have an opportunity to get AKs and basic utility out. But uh, here it is, the replay, the glot. Again, getting two kills. Not the end of the world. Not bad value for money either. Yeah, you get an extra $300 per kill. And they're having some spas too. Well, that's good to see. At least there's no death slamming going on. They, they understand no, the situation. No, you, you can't get too frustrated in an environment like this, can you? No. you? You understand the circumstances. and As we all do. Maybe some death slamming in a moment, because uh, Ajil, he was just down in connector, and well, now Rain is too. Brokey's coming along for the ride, and ah, yes, of course. Up the ladder in connector at a minute 26 seconds. The classic push and the bomb at the feet. Thank you very much. How many more can Rain get here? The smoke is great. The dig too. And he's going to do even more damage no. to Dodo. Gets the flick around, though. Okay. okay. That's a chance. That's a real And I think gift. there's another kill here. Oh, the timing again. Carrigan saw the feet. This is just going horribly wrong for FTW in the tiniest oh, the of details. Well. There was a gap there to try and get into the beat bomb site, but it's been eradicated now. If there was anyone left of 100 HP, I'd say there's a chance, but just 26 points of help all the way in T-spawn. Bowman is back, sure, but uh, really not many options whatsoever. He has a full array of utility. I will say that much. Does need the ace. Does need the ace. Um, if he gets one kill and plants towards A, I, I guess there's a chance, but... He's got time the amount, on his side. The amount of time required, though, from this stage to clear out a bomb site and actually get a plant down, I dare say, would be a problem for him. So, they can play one towards A, one towards B. If somehow Rops doesn't hear... If Rob sits here, he wins the round. Hold on. All right, he's going oh, long. This is the, the best call he could have made. He's, he's going running long. long. All right. He's the absolute best choice. He's got the trainers on. Is it, But if he plants open, all Rob's has to do is turn his head he slightly to the right-hand side. The bank, I would say, with this sort of opportunity. But 15 seconds. If you want to stop rotations from B, right? You've called the sights open. Well, he's giving away his position now, so all Rob's That's... has to do is just turn around and... Right. There okay. it is. All right. Yeah. Well, there was a chance and uh, didn't get the plan. Like I said, that was a prerequisite for a buy going forward. It would give them an extra $800 per player on the T side. On top of that, $3,000 they're getting right now. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. If you've got the plan down, you can get AKs and armor, maybe a couple of flashes. For now, though, you're like Tech Nines, Mac 10s, Desert Eagles, oh, that sort of was vibe. nice. So yeah, they, they, after that point, you've lost two kills, the bomb goes down there, you have to push the third. It was that right. one there where KST looked like he had Carrigan dead to rights, but yep. then doubted himself, walked back, showed a bit of thigh, Carrigan loves a bit of leg, and uh, able to scoop that one up. So, let's see if they can get anything done with these pistols and util. Probably not. They, uh, they have done, and the rounds they picked up, a couple of them have been with scouts and pistols, so uh, we'll see what they can do here. I'm sure they'll be worth a plant with a full B execution. Time will tell. We've got Carrigan and Twist to defend. Here come the flashes, and onwards we push, gents. In we go. 
into the lion's den and twist to open things up here he's been dropped the trades are good for now but the nades might be even better bomb gets dropped and there's just no range to speak up here the mac 10 can't finish off the job towards short and uh, that should be all she wrote uh for this series i'm afraid chad as well 15 to 4 i don't think you'll be recovering this one but, now uh, this could be the i don't know this is another bold statement that we'll never <laughs> know the answer to but this could be the quickest series now, right. if it wasn't the quickest okay, map, there we maybe go. it's the quickest series. Yes, okay, get because the back on it. It's had a thunderous pace to it from start to finish. And uh, as we take a look here, the series did start at 12.30 CEST, which is local time. And uh, we currently sit at 2.08 CEST. So right. if that uh, kind of tells you how quick things have been running away Very. from uh, FTW or how fast phase are out the gates, it's been a quick one here today as we do get underway with round 20. Yes, that's all the amount of rounds that were played on the first map as well. It's a similar scoreline, six four, the exact same scoreline. It becomes through sixteen to four, and it's looking to go that way, Chad. You would hate to see it go down in this sort of manner for the inaugural showing of the FTW squad here in ESL Pro League season sixteen. But back and forth oh. we go, and they have been pretty good at tying things up. But Rob's knife him, do it, do it. No, no, you no. have Check to do two. it, Rob. Check for two. Oh, oh dear, <laughs> you hate to see that one. Well, and it's going to be a two on two, and the bomb drops, so still advantage for now, but Rain might confirm things there. It's going to be Stododo, who took no damage in that exchange somehow. We have it all to play for here. All right, hold up, Henry. Stododo, it's time to, to go go. This oh, is like a one that. on two that is very, very that position, winnable. Though, I wouldn't be checking this. Jiggles with the orb, the barrel's very long, the cheeky nose. Well, he just was watching like... the bomb, right? So he's at least aware it's gone. Oh, well, they haven't heard any steps either. So starting to piece this one together, he's just gone for a different Ooh, angle. Him? I swear there's been glances here with this Pinocchio think... nose AWP <laughs> may have given things up. <laughs> That's what up, I was you saying. Know? I think the, the tip of the barrel might have given away his spot there. He's just looking for any mistakes. And the problem is he's got a scope up as well as soon as he spots that little head. <sighs> and now he knows he's been spotted, I believe. So in he goes and Rain more than happy to oblige. Here we go. Rain's already here though. This, the, 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 he'd have to hit a crazy shot. Rain would have to give away his position completely. Back turned, backpedaling into the side, and headshot mid-air. That 